Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at how do you make a dynamic chart. Uh, so a chart that changes depending on the selections that you make. Say, for instance, here we have information about a revenue, profit or units that you have sold in the past year. And you want to show, well, give the option to your boss or to your colleagues uh, to show revenue, profit or units depending on what they choose to show. So for instance, they might want to show revenue and profit but not units. Or maybe they want to add units and show everything together. And maybe take away profit, just show revenue and units. How do you make this uh, dynamic chart? Starting point is here. So you have your information, which has months, the revenue, the profit, and the units sold. And then we're going to be using a combination of this chart here, which basically feeds off this one, and, but it only shows certain things depending on the inputs of these checkboxes here. So how do you first of all input a, well, add a checkbox to your uh, spreadsheet basically to the worksheet what you need to do is to go to, into the developer ribbon and go into insert and then that particular icon there you click it and then you put it where you want it now first of all how do you get the developer ribbon uh, to show because it doesn't come as stand most times you're not going to see it. What you want to do is basically go here, click, go more commands, and then what you want to do is go to popular, show developer tab in the ribbon. So that will add this developer ribbon from which again you can choose uh, the uh, checkbox icon. And there's a number of them, different ones. With regards to the, this particular the, the checkbox, if you right click on it, you then go on to um, Format Control. And this is where you're going to be doing the most basic information. So what you can do, I'll show it here on the same page, you can link the, um, sta the status of the checkbox to a cell. So for instance, I'm going to be putting it in this particular case here and then I go OK and as you can see it shows me true if it's clicked or false if it isn't. So this is what I've done with these three ones. What I've done, I've connected them, linked them to the cells in G2, H2 and I2 for revenue, profit and units sold. So each time I click on them, notice now they're all empty I haven't checked them and here it gives me false if I click them I say I click two of them they become true and this will lead me to the uh, remainder of uh, the video now I'm just gonna delete this one uh, just for uh, right click and then delete delete so we go back to the start now, so remember, I've, I'm able now to know what status the checkbox here are. So then I create another table which sources the data from this one, but with the crucial difference that with an if statement, if the um, value in this particular cell G2 is false, then it would give me, as it is, say for instance in H2, the value in cell H4 becomes this. Hence, when I then create the chart, it disappears. Uh, if I put it back on, it reappears. I've made a lot of different changes to this chart from the original one that I've created just by using this information. But basically, um, if you know a little bit of charting, say I've changed, uh, I've put all these yellow dots, which represents a unit sold on the secondary axis over here. And um, that was just the major 
the main change that I've made to the chart. But in essence, to produce a dynamic chart, what you need to do is to have checkboxes where you choose what you want to display, nothing, a little bit, everything, and then link the source of the chart to the status of those checkboxes, hence making appear or disappear the information that you want to show.